Hi, thanks for taking a moment to watch my mini lesson here on knowing your customer. When you write programs, whether it's Python or any other language, knowing your customer is an important step to take. It will guide you throughout your development. If, if it's for you, you can probably take a lot of shortcuts. If it's for a clone of you, someone who thinks just like you, codes just like you, knows how to use the same tools. I used to write a lot of code for my clone. Is it a colleague or a stranger? Do they use computers very often? And with that in mind, I wrote a couple of enrollment programs. And these simply take your name and it will be used later Let's take a look at these programs. In row one is using inputs and prints. So it's going to be command line based. And I've made these two programs the same size in terms of lines of code so that I can flip back and forth. So the first one, we're using input to ask for a person's name. And if they've entered a name, then give them a little message telling them what we're going to do. We're going to enroll them. And if they don't give a name, then we'll give them an, a message that says, OK. That's the command line version. And then the Python GUI version, what you see here is the word pop up, where here you saw print. So there's print has been replaced with pop up. And this pop up get text replaces input. Otherwise, they're the same program. I've placed on the desktop a shortcut to these two programs because I've put the source code into a different folder. Although I've ended up moving the source code to the one with the prints here on the desktop, and you'll understand why in just a moment. So I'm going to assume that I'm, I'm going to give this program to other people because it's enrolling in my new library. So let me double click this just as if I'm a normal user of a computer because we're used to double clicking icons. But I've double clicked it twice so I'll get rid of it. Okay so here I have a nice console window. What's your name? Well I'm Mike and the window went away. Uh, why is that? Well it's because the program exited. At the end of this program prints simply exit. So the backup plan will be to tell your user to run the program from the command line. So they're going to be thrilled about finding their desktop. So it's user my desktop, right? Users. So they go to their desktop. A wonderful experience already and you're going to tell them to type python and roll one dot pi and i misspelled it in r okay so what's your name put mike and we see hi mike let's get you enrolled it only takes a few moments that's exactly what we were looking for and Let's run it again. If I decide, well, maybe I don't want to do it right now. And normally in Windows, you hit Control C, and indeed it did get an interrupt, and I got this wonderful message. So I'm a little confused as a user of what just happened. If I run the program again and don't enter any name, then we get this nice no problem. Okay, so. In order to get the print one to work right, we needed to use a command line. Let's try this other one. It also is a shortcut. I'm going to double click it and it will open this window. Hi, what's your name? Well, I'm going to say Mike. I'm even going to hit carriage return rather than clicking OK. And it gives me a similar message. Hey, let's get started. It only takes a few moments and we're done. If the user decides that they're not interested in signing up at this time, they would probably hit the cancel button 
and we get a, a no problem we can do it some other time and the user experience here is very different if you're a casual user of computers the second experience is likely to be one that you're going to enjoy and I, I would argue that the command line experience if you're writing for you and a clone of you then you're going to be okay with that a colleague not so much a stranger even a regular computer user they're not going to be very happy about opening a command line and a casual user forget it they're they're just not going to use your program so that's what i mean by know your customer uh, take a moment and understand who you're writing the code for and let that guide you thank you for your time and for watching and i hope that you get to enjoy the passion of writing programs.